Hello, my name is Jim Gardner. I'm the Medical Director at Blackpool Teaching Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust. This is my COVID update on Wednesday the 9th of June 2021. The situation in the hospital is that we've currently got two COVID positive patients, so patients within 14 days of their first uh, positive swab who are poorly and in fact both of these patients are in critical care which is an indication of how poorly they are. Um, we don't have any COVID positive patients on our general wards and we've got two patients with us who are here because of COVID but are beyond uh, 14 days. So through the last week we've had some days when we've gone up to as many as five, uh, some days when we've gone down to zero today is two that seems to be the kind of picture that we're in in Blackpool uh, though we know that colleagues in other hospitals across Lancashire are seeing rather more Covid positive patients so you know that's an important piece of the Lancashire context as far as the community numbers are concerned um, they're higher than they were last week so Blackpool is 103 per 100,000 filed 63 wire 48 Eight. Um, and um, I suppose the good news in that data is that these increases are very much seen in the younger population who are essentially not yet immunised. So uh, school aged children uh, and people in their 20s generally. The rates in the over 60s uh, are still remaining very very low and that's incredibly positive. Compare our numbers to Blackburn with Darwin and their figures are showing 550 per 100,000 so you can see the, the differences that we're dealing with. But the essence of the story is that vaccination is still such an important part of our um, approach to managing the pandemic and vaccination is now available to anybody over the age of 25. So um, if, if there's anyone watching who is in that age group over the age of 25 who hasn't yet had their first dose or indeed moved through to the second, please, please, please go ahead and get that done. Very easy to do uh, by dialing 119 or going on the NHS Choices website. That's www.nhs.uk. Um, and so if you know people who are in that age group now, please encourage them to do that because it's such an important part of us being able to move forward. Um, same applies then about anyone with symptoms of essentially flu-like symptoms if you think you might have COVID um, you can actually go to the pharmacy and get some lateral flow tests for free um, but you could get a formal PCR test done by dialing uh, 119 or again working that through the NHS Choices website. Um, I want to just say something about visiting to hospital. We've not changed our visiting rules um, yet, but we're keeping our eye on this in terms of community numbers. So really this is, an, this is just an ask that um, if you're able, if you've got an appointment at outpatients, for example, and you're able to come by yourself, then please will you do that because it minimises the number of people flowing through the hospital and being close to each other and so on. And the same really would apply for the emergency department and indeed if you've got uh, friends and relatives in hospital that you wish to visit it's really much safer if possible if you can come um, it, you, you know as a, as a single person rather than come as a whole family because I think there is undoubtedly some increased risk if we've got lots of people coming on site so it's just to ask you to be thoughtful about that please. Um, our emergency department through the half term week last week was incredibly busy. I think Blackpool as a, uh, as a resort was incredibly busy, wasn't it? it it's calmed down a little bit, but uh, it, it, it reminds us to think about the use of our urgent and emergency services carefully. I've been looking at the um, NHS 111 symptom checker uh, and actually very impressed by that. So um, this would be maybe even and try it out if you've never used it um, to go on and see how it functions because I think it's a source of really excellent advice for people um, who are worried about a particular condition and it leads you through in a methodical way to um, some to help you make a decision about who can help you um, with your condition most. Um, finally, I need to remember to say, sadly, we've had one additional death uh, linked to COVID. So that's within 28 days of a first diagnosis. That takes us up to a running total since March 2020 of 766.
So finally, uh, the messages remain the same, don't they? We still need to be extraordinarily vigilant to uh, maintain our use of masks in social spaces, uh, to keep sensible distances, and the old hand washing um, that we're all inclined to forget, but actually is so effective in reducing viral load and spread. Uh, and thank you to everyone for, uh, for keeping going. Stay safe yourself, and um, let's look after everybody else as well. Thank you.